<laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and start. And um, tonight's class is about um, the gut. So I'm going to talk about the gut, and then it's also about um, how to take care of your gut and your other organs and do a full cleanse to improve your health and things like that. So um, our body either eliminates toxins or waste and stuff through either, you know, when we sweat or when we go through the bathroom. Um, and it also protects itself by isolating toxins and fat cells. So um, anytime that we're eating or doing, um, using things that have toxins in it, our body sees that and knows that it isn't gonna help our body but harm it. So it encapsulizes it in fat. So um, sometimes it's just sitting there and protecting it and when we detox, you know, it, it will release that. Um, and when we detox, it releases it into our bloodstream. So um, sometimes people will get a little bit uncomfortable feeling and stuff like that. Um, this detox is all natural and you really don't have to feel that way. Um, so if people ever get le you know, leery of it and they're like, oh, I don't know, am I always running to the bathroom? Am I doing that? It's not like that. Um, and if they do get uncomfortable, I tell them that you know, they should drink a lot of water because you're flushing that out of your body and to keep going. Um, they can also use the digestin to help their tummy if they feel um, cramping or anything. Um, as an example, my son, um, he had like focusing issues and so he was using lime and cilantro on the bottom of his feet, on the bottom of his big toe because it's the receptor for your brain. And then doing that, it detoxed his brain, like inject, uh, immunizations that you have um, have metals in it. So a lot of time when there's a thinking issue going on, you can do that. And so as he was detoxing, he had cramps. So I told him just to use the digestion and drink a lot of water. Um, sandalwood sometimes can help too. So he did that. But here's the thing. I, I always tell people, anytime that you're feeling that way, because of the toxins coming out of you, if you stop, then your body's going to reabsorb those toxins instead of flushing them. And then if you ever detox again, you have to go through the whole thing. It only will last for three to four days, and your body can get rid of all that in that time that it's going to do it from your gut or your organ. So um, to assist the body in eliminating it, um, you just want to help the digestive tract in relaxing and being able to um, let go and let that stuff pass. So that's why I said sandalwood will really help um, the body. You can just diffuse it or you can rub it on your stomach or um, things like that. Also the, um, the blend that's called balance, it helps with stress and it helps your body balance things like both physically and mentally and pH wise and stuff like that. So those are the two things that I usually recommend or three things that I usually recommend. Um, as well as when you're drinking your water, it really helps if you put a couple drops of lemon. So I have two drops on my shelf, I mean two bottles on my shelf, we always keep lemon around. It's really, really healthy for your gut. Any of the citric oils are, um, but the lemon oil is really good for your gut. So when people are feeling any discomfort, I tell them to drink water and let the lemon help, you know, in aiding their, the health of their um, gut environment. So that's just a little, you know, overthing of it. But getting into what the doTERRA's actual cleanse is, um, so first of all, I got to say that your body needs the vitamins and stuff that you need. We can't get by in today's world without taking supplements and, um, the supplements that you take are really going to depend on, you know, your, your, just your general health. Um, I know some people just doTERRA, it's an oil company, but it focuses on health and they have their own, um, vitamins and stuff. Now they have research specialists and doctors and everything that have studied it and put it together, help them revise it. Um, they have a, a pack called the Lifelong Vitality Kit and it's three vitamin supplements. Now it's different for every country, so they adjust it based on the dietary needs for each country. So they're not exactly the same and as they see that change, um, like China has changed, um, a couple other countries um, have changed, um, they have more Americanized food and then some other issues that they would have over there. 
they've adjust, they adjust the blends. So, um, but what's in the blend is, um, the first one is a vitamin microplex. And um, it's just what, and this one's almost empty. So ours is coming here in a few days. But, um, you know, it's just good for having a naturally balanced diet. All the vitamins are um, bioavailable. So your body knows how to break it down. It's made from vegetables and stuff like that. It's not chemically manufactured. So when I worked in pediatrics and when I worked in um, family health, we would tell them, like, if you could eat a gummy vitamin, it'd be so much better than taking a pill. Because something that is compound like that, your body does not know how to digest it. It doesn't to absorb all the nutrients from it. Whereas if it's food and it knows how to break it down, you have a better chance of absorbing the vitamins and nutrition that you need. So um, the terrorist scientists and doctors know that things need to be made bioavailable. So um, it's, it's made that way. Um, it's just the vitamins, the minerals, the polyphenols that we need. Um, it's from whole foods and it helps your tummy, it helps to tame it, and it's in veggie caps and they're non-GMO and gluten-free. Um, so yeah, and then the other one is omega. So the omega, a lot of people know that omega is um, important and they know certain types. Um, the studies that they did, um, it showed that plant and animal omega is better than just animal omega alone. So theirs is a blend of both, um, omega-3s and all the other things. It also has, um, the, the, the other thing is all the vitamins have essential oils in it, which help your body to absorb it, absorb all the nutrients possible and stuff like that. Um, but it has vitamin A, and vitamin D, vitamin E in it. Um, and it's just a small soft gel capsule. Um, it, the oils that are in it, just in case you wanted to know, it's frankincense. It's really good for cellular support and all of your organs. Uh, clove, pine, peppermint, caraway, ginger, cumin, orange, and German chamomile. So, um, and then the last one is called Alpha CRS. And um, it's a cellular vitality complex. So um, it supports like your cell function again and metabolic function. Um, it really factors into like cellular energy and things like that. Um, so it also helps with like the health of your organs. And that, that's really like important. Um, it just, they, they went to studies about stress and about how the organs and things like that. And so with oxidative stress and things like that um, and the cellular structure and it changing all the time um they went through and that's why they created this because it's overall health still um more than just you know just a vitamin and an omega um and the three of them combined like i said um it comes in a kit it comes in a box together i thought i had a box still um but you know it's it's for overall wellness of all your organs your liver your digestive function your lungs your eye health um, energy, metabolism, DNA protection, bone health, your immune function, stress management, and cardiovascular, as well as like hair, nails, skin, and all that other junk. But um, but yeah, they've and I've had people feel better just from taking those vitamins along. And in fact, um, the Terra's biggest seller of everything that they possibly have is in oils, and they're an oil company. It's their vitamins. So people get on the vitamins and they like it the way that they feel. They usually feel immediate. Like the first things that people can tell is that they have more energy. They get better sleep. Um, they boost their immune system. But people stay on it after that. Um, I don't know if you know Dr. Axe. He has a video on YouTube on the LLV. And he doesn't work with for them or anything. But um, there's just different people that have studied it. And they talk about how beneficial it is. And it's like the best vitamins that you can find out there. But the reason why the cleanse begins with that is because if you don't have that foundation, then um, your health just isn't going to be as, as good as it can be. Um, and a lot of those vitamins and all have to do with helping your gut and all. And like I said, all the other organs. So this is taking care. And here's the thing, okay. I am not a person that does crazy diets or any of that, but my mom has it in, my brother has it in, my aunts have been <laughs> so many people, right? Um, but I always was in medicine and I was like, well, that's not healthy. That doesn't make sense. That just, uh, uh, no. 
avoiding it isn't going to help you, you know, and eventually you're going to eat like a normal human being. Okay. So I, I tell everybody, I don't care if you're losing weight. I don't care if it's your health. There's a way to do it and eat what you want and to be healthy. And if you're feeding your body what it needs, it will do what it's supposed to do. And weight will be healthy. All these other things will naturally start to balance. And I've, I've found that and I've helped other people with health issues and a hundred percent, it always happens. It always happens. Um, the other thing is you hear a lot of people talking about cleanses. Now I didn't do cleanses before this either, um, but my fiance did, <laughs> my brother did. And I was like, okay, you know, and I, I studied it compared to juice cleanses, which a lot of people will do that. And there's a lot of reasons why juice cleanses aren't the best thing for you. Um, so anyway, the other thing is um, just mainly my point of that was everybody talks about cleansing the gut. So what happens when you cleanse the gut? It goes to your filtering organs. So are you taking care of those filtering organs? Because they're going to get the toxins in them and be bombarded. And with everything being bombarded, the things that start to happen is we get health issues, right? That we don't really need to be living with. Um, people don't really realize that... Um, you don't have to live with these things. We've just been in a state where we deal with allergies and think that's a way of life, deal with pain issues and think that that's something you have to survive with any kind of inflammation diseases. It's because their body is at dis-ease. It's not something they have to stay with. So um, the, this cleanse is a 30-day cleanse, right? And the first 10 days, you just take the vitamins and a couple other supplements. Um, and then that first time before you ever get to the cleanse, I've seen several friends that have inflammation diseases like uh, lupus or fibromyalgia or things like that. And they're like, it's day five and I feel 10 times better. Okay, so what I'm saying is it's important to take care of all of your organs, not just cleanse your gut. Um, but when people come, there is just a part that you can just buy just for cleansing your gut. But I'm just saying those other organs are pretty important. If people feel that much better just from taking care of their kidneys, lungs, heart, liver, and taking vitamins, there's something to it that other health in general, you know, doctors and stuff don't always recognize and look at. So there's just that. But the lifelong vitality, it also, you know, focuses on your cardiovascular system, the nervous system your brains and your immunity with antioxidants and stuff like that, as well as the DNA and energy. So that's why you see those people have a great response just from the vitamins. So what are other supplements to go with the vitamins? So I'm getting ready to get into that. So, um, and I have like on my website, there's a chart, it looks like this. And so it shows you everything that you take and this is what you take throughout the whole time, which is the vitamins. And then this is what you take each 10, each first 10 days, second 10 days, third 10 days, and this is just the lemon, the lemon oil you take. I just say drink that all the time, just regularly, even if you're not doing a cleanse, just drink it with you, so that's on the bottom. Um, but this cleanse is cleansing from the cellular level up because the oils that are in the vitamins and stuff, they work inside your cells. So they you know, go in and heal the cells, they work on a cellular level and they give the cells what they're needing and nourishment. So um, that's it. The other thing that you take besides the vitamins the entire time is a digestive enzyme called terazyme. Okay, and so let me make sure I didn't miss another question. It says two. Okay. Um, can you copy? Yes, I can email that later, and that way Chris can pass that on to other people. And I probably, um, at the end of the class, I can see, I can often just send things here where you can download it in the chat. So um, I can put that, I can attach it to it at the end of the class. You just remind me. Um, so the terazyme, um, some people are familiar with digestive enzymes. So that's all it is. It's a digestive enzyme because we want to support our digestive tract to keep it, you know, moving along and getting healthy. Because these issues that we have with our health is because over time the toxins have built up in our system and they just made our organs sluggish. They're just not functioning at the level that they originally did. So, um, and I mean, today, uh, it's, it's estimated that, um, you know, the thing that grows in your gut that you're always trying to help besides the toxins um, is fungus. So candida is something that's in your, in your gut. 
and there's like 80 forms of candida and with each one you can have different results with each person so some people will have allergies some people will have inflammation you know issues some people will have um migraines some people will have add all these different things are from that in your gut right and not being a healthy environment um, when we get the immunizations like i said that's metals that'll stay in your body for 40 years so you know making sure that we can eliminate some of that and it, it's not necessary it's only necessary to preserve those things that are in it before you receive it after that you don't want it to stay in your body it makes all of our organs sluggish um, so, and when you're looking at depression, when you're looking at ADD, memory retention, those kind of things, okay, people think it's a brain thing, which of course your thoughts are in your brain, but 90% of your neuroreceptors are in your gut, not in your brain. So when it's, when it's, um, when it's got all these toxins and this fungus in your gut, right? It's making those neuroreceptors misfire, and the you know depression or anxiety or something become more intense because they're misfiring and they're not communicating the way they should. So you know, trust your gut instinct. Yeah, it it could happen if your gut's clean, you know, but um, it starts to happen less when the gut isn't able to communicate properly with your brain. So you have like your brain, that's one mind. You have your heart, that's another mind. You have your gut, that's another mind, and they should be like communicating together. But as our, I mean, it's just, it's just facts. It's just true. Um, if the neuroreceptors are being sluggish, you're not going to be able to have a clear thinking and you know all this stuff. So it intensifies those things. So when people are looking at those issues, I tell them to work on their gut. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just I'm trying to reach a broad spectrum of different things and just inform you of different things that you can think of when doing this. Um, so the digestive enzyme. What it's going to do is break down everything you eat. And when I'm in a person-to-person -person class, like with you know people there, I will take just some oats and I'll put it in the bowl and put some water in it and make it really thick. And then I'll just take the capsule and open it and just stir it. And I'll give it to the class while I'm teaching and let people stir it for like five minutes. And in that five minutes, it'll break down and it'll be liquefied. Okay, so that's what it's doing to everything you eat. So people that are lactose intolerant, people that have gluten sensitivity, they can take Terrazyme, eat what they were going to eat, and it'll break it down so that it won't interact with their body. It won't. My, my daughter has gluten sensitivity, and if she eats it, and she's like, I love bread, I don't care, and she would just be doubled over in pain after a few, you know, she'd take five bites or something, she'd be like, oh, it's, it's, uh, it hurts so bad, you know. And, um, but if she takes a Terrazyme before we go to Panera and she gets the bread bowl, she's fine. So um, that's just how it works. It breaks down everything, right? And so when it's breaking it down, one, it's breaking it down so that you can absorb all the nutrients that you're eating. Two, all the toxins that might be in it are minuscule so that your body isn't gonna encapsulate it and carry fat. It's gonna allow it to pass through your system and you won't be carrying more toxins because just in general, everything that we're gonna be eating nowadays is gonna have some kind of toxins in it. But it has, um, I have a list of things that are in it, and you can see it in my site, but you know, it's protein, carbohydrates, um, starches, all these are the things that it helps break down. Because um, even though proteins are healthy for you, it's just harder for your body to break it down sometimes. So um, we're just doing everything we can to help our digestive tract. And some people that would be fruits and vegetables, it's hard for their body to break down. But um, you just take one or two capsules with each meal, um, sometimes I take one with each meal and I'll take one at night before I go to bed. So that way, anything that was left, my body could be working at night. Um, but it, it's not going to hurt you. That's what it's you know meant to do. And so um, I'll do that. It says you could take up to six a day. So if I'm only taking one with each meal, uh, sometimes I'll do one in the morning, one when I eat breakfast, one at lunch, one at dinner, and then I'll do one before I go to bed. That's only five. So um, but then some people just do two with each meal. It's totally up to you. Um, some people ease their way into it. Um, so you do the vitamins and lemon in your water and the terazine all the time. And this is the other one that you do the whole time. So when I talked about the cleanses and everybody just treating their gut, this is called Zendocrine. And it's a detoxification blend for those filtering organs. So this is what 
I was saying most other companies, um, I have a friend that works in biomedicine and she was looking to treat an ailment and she said, um, nobody else has something like this. There's just no other company that has any, I've searched and there's nothing like that on the market. And I was like, yeah, I know. So she's like, um, yeah, but do you know how helpful that is? You know why that's so good? And I was like, I, I, yeah, I do. And so, um, you know, she took it, but there's a lot of people that have, um, if you know anybody that has heart issues, liver issues, kidney issues, those kind of things, they will probably just want to make sure they have Zendocrine uh, or pancreas, stuff like that. So um, the Zendocrine right here, there's two different ones, okay? And they're slightly different in the formula. This one just supports your filtering organ. So you take it all the time. So it's your organ, you know, your liver, kidneys, colon, lung, skin. Um, oh yeah, your skin is your third kidney. So I don't know if you were aware of that. But when you see people with eczema and stuff like that, it's the toxins not being able to flush their kidneys and it's coming through in their skin. Um, sometimes acne issues are that as well. Um, and on my site, I have like a little mat like this and it tells you all the things that are in it and it tells you um, for your liver, the milk thistle, the garlic root, the clove bud, the bayberry leaf. It tells you what things are in that vitamin that works towards each organ. So um, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but it shows you which ones are for you. And I have um, lung damage and stuff from secondhand smoke. And I didn't know for the longest time, but they did test and that's you know what they told me. But um, when I go into casinos and stuff, I used to get really sick after. Um, if I stay on the Zendocrine, it, it won't affect me. I won't get a cold when I leave. I won't, you know, um, sometimes I would always have a sinus infection after stuff like that. As long as I'm on my Zendocrine, then I'm fine. Um, but a couple of times we ran out and we were about to get a new order and then I went and I was like, I am dying over here. I just, I can't breathe, you know, like my, it, it burned my throat and stuff like that. So I, I can tell the difference just on my end with, oh, and I also had bladder issues before. Um, they're gone now. I also used um, geranium. I just rubbed it on my stomach every day. But I went to a urologist and always had blood in my urine and they went in with a camera and everything like that. And they said some things to do, but um, I tried that. And then with the Zendocrine, um, they just wanted to keep me constantly on a little bit of an antibiotic just to prevent the infections that I would get. And I mean, that's not really healthy for you, but um, they didn't know what else to do. So I did the Zendocrine and I did the cleanse and I used geranium a lot because it's good for bladders, health and everything. And um, the, the blood in my urine went away and all those things. And so um, those doctors took note of it then and asked me and looked at the formula and, looked, you know, saying, wow, this is really, really good for bladder health. So um, that's just another organ that you don't think about all the time. But the oils that are in them, um, now this is, oh, this also comes in an oil too, sorry, Zendocrine. So it's in an oil blend, um, like this, like I teach for kids, they're the kid cleanse and they don't take these capsules. So they would do the oil instead and they can just rub it on the bottom of their feet. Um, and that way it covers their organs that way. Um, and then, you know, this, but this one, so all those ones that I mentioned, you take every day because you want to support your organs you want to get all the vitamins you need and you want to help your digestive tract with the enzyme right so now we get into what's different that you wouldn't normally do every day so this is endocrine blend it's the same thing that's in this oil um, this actually cleanses your filtering organs preparing it for cleansing the gut so before we cleanse our gut we want to get anything that's in you know the kidneys lungs and all that we want to get it clean first so that it can handle more toxins coming into it from the gut. So the oils that are in it are um, juniper berry, rosemary, cilantro, geranium, and tangerine. So um, you could do four drops twice a day, or you could just take your little soft gel. And, um, and that's what it does. It just cleanses those organs. Um, so that is that, that's that. Then, on the 20th day, so you get into the cleanse then. And um, this is called g -exorcist. So it's for your GI tract and it's the cleanse part. So it's actually the GI cleansing formula. Um, so with that, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, it's cleansing your gut, but, um, but the g it has oregano in it. 
It has lemon, lemongrass, melaleuca, peppermint, and thyme. So peppermint and lemon, oregano, melaleuca, they're really healing for all the lining of your gut and all these other things, right? Um, so it's going to purify and clean and then repair those, start to help get in those tissues repaired. Um, people ask me if you get uncomfortable with it. Um, I, now I've done several of the cleanses. Um, we do it every three months in our home um, for health reasons. If we don't, we will feel some of the inflammation or different things come back. Um, because you can't get away from toxins. So um, we've changed everything in our home to all natural shampoo, conditioner, laundry detergent, all that, so that we can eliminate as many toxins as we can from getting in our body. Um, but food, I mean, I'm not gonna say we're never gonna go out to eat. Um, this is just real life. So, and, and even food that we buy or cook from a you know, place, it's going to have some toxins. So um, we stay on top of it and do it every three months. Um, but, um, if the first few times that I did it around the, I would say third to fifth day for me, it was the fourth day, but some people experience on the third, they just, your stomach just feels a little different. And like I said, that's when you want to drink more water with lemon, use sandalwood, um, use balance because it will help to relax your stomach and your gut and just let go of those things. Cause those toxins are making it uncomfortable. And so, I mean, some people, I'm going to tell you, I've had tons of people, dozens that did it and were like, I didn't really feel it, but I feel better. So, and the first time I did it, I didn't feel any discomfort at all either. So, I'm with this dog. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Sorry about that. I just thought his whining might be over me. So, um, so yeah, um, that is the G Exorcist. Um, and you're just going to do it for 10 days. Okay. You do it morning and night. Um, now you can, some people do it at every meal. So if they have some really big health concerns that they're trying to address, um, they can, you can do it that often. It says it on the bottle. Um, but let me tell you, um, the ones that I mentioned from the beginning that you take every day, those you'll, it'll only last you a month. These, um, since you're only taken for 10 days, it comes with 60. So it'll last you three cleanses. Um, any of those other, like the Zendocrine, the G Exorcist, and the next one I'm gonna tell you about, it'll last you three cleanses. So if you buy it once, you know, you do it the 10 days, you can wait three months and do it again, three or four months and do it again, and then you'll have another time to do it. So um, so yeah, you'll have that, that opportunity. Or if you know, you're not alone, then um, we go through it more because there's four of us in our family, so you know, you won't have it. But, Anyway, um, so I told you about that. Um, making sure there's nothing else I forgot to say. Nope. Okay, so the next thing is probiotics, right? Everybody knows that probiotics are important. And um, where's my bag? Um, hey, Jace. Oh, wait, it might be in here. I have a probiotic pill that I use over and over so that I don't ever have to keep on touching more, but, um, but I don't see my little packet. Anyway, um, let me grab this real quick too. So probiotics, the thing is everybody knows that they're important and I think most people know what they do. So there's um, healthy bacteria that lives in the lining of your gut and once it's killed, um, you can't, it won't heal itself and grow back. So the only way to do it is to replace it and put it in there. So um, things like antibiotics or um, different artificial foods or drugs and stuff like that, that's what kills it and breaks it down. So that's why a lot of times people that know that they have low, um, that they need to take probiotics and they have, um, like a lot of people that have skin concerns or allergies, they know that the doctor has told them to take extra probiotics. But they, when they hear that they have to take an antibiotic, they get, you know, worried because it, it does break down your immunity and it, it, it's not helping. It's, you know, hurting that gut flora. So um, the, the thing that the flora is doing is um, protects you from bad bacteria and parasites and stuff like that. So that's why you want that in there. Um, and I think there was something else I was going to say, but... 
But anyway, uh, and people talk about all the different strains, like um, how many strains they have in the probiotics and stuff like that. Um, the thing is, a lot of probiotics on the market do not um, make it to your gut. So when I worked in pediatrics, the doctor was like, yeah, probiotics, that's a good myth. And I was like, what are you talking about? Everybody, it's proven, it's true. And he said, it's true, but the problem is nothing on the market's really getting to the gut. So why take something that's gonna die in your stomach and never really help your gut? And so um, there was two that there were, you know, that do surpass your stomach and get to your gut. Um, but these are one of the only ones that I know of that I've found yet that are all natural. Um, and so this one is like a little sugar packet. It's PB Assist Junior. And it's like, uh, it tastes like a pixie stick and it's for kids. Um, so they just dump it in your mouth and, you know, it's just, just like a pixie stick you would. And then these probiotics, um, Jace, Jaden, who's in the kitchen? <laughs> okay, come here. Can you look in my black bag? I'm looking for a little patch that has the um, probiotic because I want to show the um, oil and I can't find my little... It's not in here, but it's probably in my black, my black doTERRA back there in the living room. But um, cause I don't have it right here and I wanted to show them what it looks like. Thank you. I usually keep it in the zipper <laughs> for classes. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh no, actually that's not it. Just more of these. Where's the pouch? No, it's not in there either. Barn. I took it out for a class and I don't know where I left it. Well, I'll have to tell you. <laughs> um, do I have a picture of it? No, I don't see one. So anyway, um, yeah, the probiotic. There is some other, I know there is some others now. This was just at the time that there was no natural probiotics that were out there on the market. Um, there are some now. Um, I'll still say that I just went to a convention and there were leading doctors and research therapists and all these different hospitals and stuff that came to the convention to tell us different things that they've learned since the past year. Um, it, this is still the very, very different than any of the others out there. It works, um, just differently for the body. Um, and I have some notes on why from the convention, from the doctors, but um, they're just saying it's still the leading one out there. Um, and when you look at it, it's a capsule inside of a capsule. So the outer capsule is the, um, the probiotic, prebiotic, I couldn't think from it. The outer one is the prebiotic, so it does open up in your stomach and it digests there, and the inner capsule will make it to your gut, and that's the probiotic. So um, there's only six strains of five billion colonies um, to reestablish the floor. You don't need as many as in some of those other ones that die in your stomach because it is getting to your gut. Um, and yeah, they had some companies that came out there and um, they actually came to doTERRA and they, doTERRA didn't know that they were doing a study, but they said, we've, we've taken a few of the oils and we've tested them. We want you to know that your oils stand out from any other oil company and some of your products are, are standing out from any other ones. And so they said, well, we kind of, we kind of figured that out. <laughs> um, but they said, no, you don't, you don't understand. And so they put the research in front of them and they said, um, we went and got medical grade chemical compounds to make it the same and identical. Like when you look underneath it, chemically it looks exactly the same but we can't get the same results as as yours did and they said you know we've tested it against other companies and um, as far as the oil went the oil wasn't the same consistency it didn't always have the same purity um, they were never consistent and either way they didn't have the same effects as the doTERRA oil so they said well if ours like we get some batches and it's 95 percent pure and we discard it because it doesn't meet our standard of quality. And so they were, they were surprised, the company that was doing the research, because they said a lot of other ones would sell that, but they knew because of the test results that if it didn't you know, stay 100% pure, they weren't selling it. 
Um, and so they, you know, they knew that that was one of the factors into why it wasn't, uh, why they weren't getting the same results with other oils. But then they said they chemically made it themselves to where it, it was exactly the same components and they didn't understand why it wasn't having the same results as the doTERRA ones. And the only thing they could think of is being done naturally. They know that that's 100% better for the body than doing it chemically. And so, um, yeah, they just came forward with the results and they showed all these different studies of, you know, using it for different um, conditions and how it was better. And um, so then doTERRA was like, wow, okay, well, this kind of backs us up with what we're saying and why it's healthy. But um, yeah, they had um, the Osmond Huntsman Cancer Society and then they, or Cancer Hospital, they had um, John Hopkins. They had a whole bunch of different companies and um, specialists there and stuff telling us about different things. Um, so the GX assist you do for that day 20 to day, um, wait, day 10. So day 11 to day 20. And then on the 21st day, um, when you do that PB assist test, that's when like you've cleansed your gut with the GX assist, right? So after you cleanse it, you're restoring everything. So you know the probiotics restore the gut flora. So that's when you start to restore that. And then the other thing is um, at the same time, we also do a blend called DDR Prime. And it comes in a capsule um, and it comes in a oil form too. Um, so like with the kids, they put it on the bottom of their feet. Um, and sometimes, um, so cellular health. So if you have malfunctioning cells, um, that's what DDR, it's a cellular complex. So it's working to make sure that your, your cells stay healthy and functioning properly. When cells malfunction, they start growing different ways and you have different, you know, cancer and diseases and stuff like that. So um, there's been a lot of studies with this to see how it works with um, preventing DNA damage, um, making sure that it's a healthy um, life of the cell. So when you have these malfunctioning cells, they don't know to die off and they keep on staying there and multiplying. So it tells these cells to die off and, and, and live their life and die off. Um, it also tells them to stop duplicating if they're malfunctioning and it helps with oxidative stress. So, um, and sometimes if we don't have the capsules left, I just take a veggie cap and put five drops in there and take it that way. But, um, but anybody that's had, um, there's a guy that had, um, like a tumor kind of thing on his neck. I don't know. I told him he had to go to the doctor because there's so many arteries and stuff that can run there that um, he should make sure he got it looked at. But at the same time, um, you know, I said, do whatever the doctor says, but it's obviously your cells are not healthy. There's something going on. So I would take DDR prime every day to help internally. And then I would rub this on topically like as four or five, as many times as you could a day. Um, throughout, you know, throughout the day and keep on doing that so that it's topically helping it too. Um, after, after about a month or two, it was, it was bigger than a golf ball, but it was, um, smaller than an orange. Right. And then, um, in, in two months it was about, it was smaller than a golf ball. And then I went back another few weeks and it was like, um, smaller than a grape. You couldn't really see it, but you could feel it still. And um, his doctor was like, what, what is this stuff? What's going on? How did you find this? What's in it? You know, um, I mean, it's on, it's on the bottle, but, um, but yeah, I have a few um, oncologists that came on board and that, that's just one guy that came on for that, but it's just oils. Again, the oils that are in it are frankincense. Cause like I said, that's really good for cellular health, um, thyme, lemongrass, clothes, um, nioli, orange, and summer savory. Those are the oils that are in that blend. That's all that's in it, but um, it really helps with cellular stuff. So um, that that would be the last 10 days you do the um, probiotic and the DDR prime, and it's going to help, you know, the cells restore and keep it healthy and help your um, the gut floor and all that. And then that would be it. That's the end of the cleanse after that. You feel, you feel different. So most people, um, now it depends on what kind of health issue they're addressing, um, but easy things they feel right away. And people that are pretty much healthy, um, they will feel like they get better sleep. So usually they say, um, I, I'm getting so much more sleep than I did before, um, quality sleep, and they have more energy. 
Um, and then some people just say like they just they just feel overall healthy, you know. But people that have bigger concerns, um, sometimes they see those go away with the first cleanse. If it's bigger, sometimes it takes like one or two, maybe three to like really feel a big difference. But like I said, um, some of my friends that have done it with um, inflammation or you know other things, they felt better before they were even finished with the cleanse. But um, then they got to the gut thing and they're like, ah, I felt weird today. And I was like, yeah, just drink, you know, do your lemon water and everything. And they said, well, I know it's working. I definitely know it's working. So I'm just going to keep on doing it. But then um, they said, I want, I want to get past this gut part. And then after they're like, yeah, wow, that was something different. And like I said, I didn't do a lot of cleanses before, but people that I know that have, they were like, this is a different cleanse than anything else I've ever done. And same thing with probiotic. Um, I have a friend that now does this too. And she had been on probiotics for years. She had eczema for years. And so um, she said, man, when I took that probiotic, it is definitely stronger and different than what I'm used to. And I said, yeah, so you're, you're going to the bathroom. And then she was laughing and telling her husband when he started it, she, she was like, so are you going to the bathroom regularly? And he was like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about this with you. So when people come and they ask me about how to help this or help that, or what do I think they need to do? The first thing I start to ask is, um, how many times a day do you have a bowel movement? Okay. And I say, I know you probably don't want to tell everybody, some stranger that, but this is going to tell me the condition of your gut health. So if you look at a baby, they eat, and then 30 minutes later, an hour later, they're going to the bathroom. Okay. And they do that all the time, right? And that's how our gut should be. It shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be runny. It should be soft, and it should be going after we eat, you know? So we should at least be going three times a day, if, if not four, you know, in case there's other stuff that's just moving through our system. But we eat three times a day. We should at least be going to the bathroom three times a day. So when we don't, what do you think is happening to the foods that's just sitting there? It just starts rotting, right? Just like if you threw food in the trash, it would start rotting. So that food rotting, is what's causing that candida to grow. A fungus is gonna grow. So that's why we start getting this candida. And the majority of uh, people have candida. So much so that a long time ago, like say when my parents or my grandparents, um, eczema, asthma, these were considered old people diseases, right? Babies didn't have it because that candida needed time to cultivate in them, right? Now you see babies with these things all the time. So medical research, when they look at guts of babies and stuff, 80% of babies have candida because it's passed on from their mom. So you see these things and you see why it's important to be going to the bathroom and flushing it and like having a regular system, right? So you're like, I was like, oh, okay, I did two cleanses. I don't know, I'm just going to the bathroom, but it's not like three times, I don't know. But after a while, I started going, oh, okay, it is a little bit different now. I, I, I go regular pace, and I'm like, all right. They say you have to, it's like, it shouldn't be this, or it should look like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> I did a few more cleanses, and it got like that. So now I, I get it, and I can tell, like, you know, I can ask people and then go, well, that's not really natural gut health. That's not the level you want it to be at. Your gut health, you, you want it to be passing through your body a little bit quicker, and the more you do, um, you'll feel better. And the other thing you think of was when you're using di digestive enzyme, right? It's helping your metabolism. It's breaking down stuff for it. So you're not expelling and wasting energy breaking down food because it's helping it do that. So you're going to have more energy because your body's not having to use and exhaust itself to do that. So it's just a different way of looking at it. But, um, but that is about it for the gut health. I don't know if you have any other questions, but um, yeah, I tell people, you know, you can just look at it and you can figure out how you, how candida grows and how it starts to affect your body, you know, um, because of that rotting food, because of the, us not, if some people tell me, I only go, I go to the bath, I am regular. They're like, I go to the bathroom and I have a bowel movement. I'm very, very regular. I go every morning. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but you should be going at least three times. You're like, what are, you, what are you talking about? I mean, I've never been like that in my whole life. And I, I've had people in my family and, and I said that, and my, my son used to only go every three days, you know? So I get it. Like, that's what we've become accustomed to. And then we wonder why our bodies are responding with 
these allergies and stuff like that. And it's just symptoms of showing us that our gut and our organs aren't happy and aren't the way they should be doing, you know? So, um, so when you start to see people change and not have migraines anymore, not have um, allergies and they're able to get off of, you know, medications and stuff like that and their body just starts functioning normally and they're healthier then you know, you're like, okay, I did something or, or, you know, you're just happy that they feel better. So, um, so yeah, that's why I shared this, but if you have any questions, you can let me know. Um, they do sell the kit all together. It comes like in one kit, a cleanse and restore kit. Um, it's 245 for all of it. I don't know how many things that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things. Um, so 245, I don't know what that, but, but um, when people just want to, they're like, I just want to treat my gut. And so they sell just these two together. And I think it's 65, might be something like that. But um, it's just the, the GI cleansing and the probiotic. So if people don't want to, you know, if they just want to do that, then I tell them, okay, we'll go ahead and try that. You know, um, it's still going to be healthy for you. If they just want to do the vitamins and that, you can buy everything separately. You don't have to buy the kit. You can just buy what you need. So like, here's the other thing. Um, we bought the kit once and then, you know, every month we have to buy vitamins. So if we buy the vitamins in that box, that's the lifelong vitality, um, we often will buy, when you buy that, they let you pick um, three other supplements and you get a discount. So like the DDR Prime is, I can't remember how much it is, but I think it's like 50 or something like that. And um, we have a polyphenol that's called Deep Blue and it's like $60, right? But it, you can pick three of them for $20. So you get it for $20. So I would buy the vitamins and I would just buy what part of the cleanse I ran out of, you know? Because if I have these two for another one, I'm just gonna buy the, the Terrazyme you go through a lot. So I always get the Terrazyme again or, you know, but um, it's just a better way to buy it than buying everything separately. If you buy those three vitamins and then buy the supplements for 20 because it gives you that option then i wouldn't do anything else that goes along with it that way but they work with you and they give you all these little different things to do but if people want to buy it i just say hey run by me how you're going to check out because i might be able to save you money like you know forty dollars on this or thirty dollars on that and get it for 20. just tell me how you're going to buy it and i'll let you do it or some people split it up over two months um like we did a cleanse into the new year and so we told people, this is what you could buy in November, and this is what you could buy in December, and break it up for them so that it was more affordable if they couldn't do 245 at one time. Or um, if they wanted to divide it up into three months, we would guide them on how to do it. But, um, but you save more money if you buy it in the kit rather than adding up everything separately. But, um, but all the information that I went over and more, like um, you can click on the Terra Shield and it'll tell you a whole lot more and list all those oils separately and what they help with and everything. Um, and it'll tell you about soy and about cholesterol and different things like that. Um, but on my website, it's Stacy Ballard, my name, dot com slash cleanse. And if you want to look at the kids cleanse, it's uh, slash kids cleanse. So um, that's everything. I hope that it let you understand a little bit more about Specific remedy recognition of faults on IBS and MSK. Okay, so um, this would help with um, what? What's you see? I'm trying to think right now. I just directed a play for <laughs> for five hours, um, so my brain's a little bit mushy right now. But um, it helps with those things. Usually, that's what they have to. Do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So. There's a few, you would definitely want to use the DDR Prime um, all the time with that, with colitis and stuff. Um, but I have friends um, and a couple of cousins that um, have used it for either IBS or um, the colitis. Now, there's things that you can use um, like for the ulcers that help um, like the DDR Prime. That's why I was saying I would take that because it helps um, break that up. And also, um, I don't know if I said it before. I said it in the last class, but I'm not just like a medical genius that keeps all this in my head or anything like that. 
Um, it's just that the things that I see people ask, there's people that have the common problem over and over. And so I get to know those things really quickly. But when I don't, um, you can just buy this Modern Essentials book on eBay, uh, not eBay on Amazon um, or bookstores, they'll, they'll carry it. And what you can do is you can look up um, different health conditions. And so, um, and they'll go into different um, uh, body systems too, and it'll tell you what to do. But I was gonna look, cause if, if you look, um, I had somebody that had cysts in their ovaries and it said rosemary was all they needed. So I was just gonna check for SV. I'm gonna look up you real quick and see if it just says something on my like, okay, so also gastric colitis. So there are a few oils that are listed. I'm just gonna look in the back in the systems real quick just to see if it says anything different. Oops. And I'm going to check this one too. Mm -hmm. Just this one sometimes has a little bit easier to. Okay. Okay, 16. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. So over here, there it says. So there is oils that are just good to use for that. Um, peppermint oil, the digestion blend. So um, the um, digestion would help. Helichristium is a really, really healing oil. I don't know if you've ever heard about it, Helichristium, before, but it's really good for um, healing different things. Um, it heals different, I mean, all kinds of different things, but cells and um, it's good for your organs, especially. And so, Helichristium H. Um, so circulatory, and it says it's healthy for gut health and um, liver ailments, and I'm just looking to see what it, the gallbladder infection, all that colitis, yeah, so right here specifically, it mentions colitis and that you would wanna use helichristium for that. So that's like one of the stronger oils that I would use with it. Um, cardamom, ginger, and peppermint are other ones, just because peppermint is healing for like the digestive tract again. Um, ginger as well, that's why it's like something that soothes, um, cause you know, like the, the intestines is like like the skin turned inside out and it's running all through there. So it's very, very sensitive. So the ginger is gonna be like soothing to it and helping it to heal. The helichristium is also gonna be doing that same thing. Um, and you could also use it on your feet for the helichristium um, and, the, and the reflex points for that. Um, I was looking to see over here if it says anything. Yeah, but those are the oils that are really good for that. And like even sometimes if people have something like this, I would take those oils and put it in the veggie cap and I would put like two drops of each and put it in the veggie cap and let them take it so that it's going and helping those areas, you know. Um, and that way, you know, it's right there. It's getting it to that spot and helping it. Um, but that's what I would do for that. But IBS is also like with the gut and doing the cleanse really helps change that. 
So a lot of people that I would, were dealing with that, it changed after doing the cleanse a few times because it's, it's creating that healthy environment there so that it's becoming, you know, it's just not over inflamed and reacting to everything that's been eaten. Plus the digestive enzyme is going to be helping that to naturally heal because everything is just scraping the sides of that and making your body react and to, to like everything. It's almost oversensitized, you know? So as the digestive enzyme is breaking it down, it's, it's keeping it passing through instead of, you know, irritating it more and more and more. So, um, yeah, I, that's why I would stay on those things. And then, um, the vitamins itself are going to help heal that too, like omega healing for that as well. But, um, and then the CRS, cause it's cellular, it's still going to help the cells, you know, heal. So, um, and the zendocrine is for the colon and all that as well, cause it's a filtering organ. So yeah. Um, I hope that helps answer that. Um, and you could also email me if you think of other questions of what you could do directly or stuff like that. If you forget what I said, um, it's just, Stacy be healthy at Gmail is my email. So I get emails throughout the day and then I respond in the afternoon or at night. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad that it, I'm glad that it helped. Um, but I am glad that you guys came and if you have any other questions that you think of between, then just feel free to email me. Um, and you can look on my website as well. Sometimes people will find answers there. But next week, um, healthy, weight, healthy weight for life. So I'll tell you what to do with your body and what factors into healthy weight. Um, and, you know, about these crazy dietary things that you really don't have to do, but um, how to do it naturally and to continue to eat what you want and to get your body to be able to get on that level where we're going to help heal and build our metabolism to what it once was and what you know, it should be again. So um, I'll talk a little bit about sleep for a little bit because sleep has a big, big factor in weight and people don't realize that, but um, I'll talk about that as well. So all those kind of things, um, that will be our topic for next week. But thanks guys for being here. I hope, hope it was helpful. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Bye.